Well, certainly I am very much more confident than a year ago. And the difference has been spectacular, I would say, in uh, from the political point of view and economic decisions, both at the country level and uh, at the collective level. Do you think there is still a chance, though, that the Eurozone will break up? No, it, it, as, as Pre Draghi say, President Draghi said, it is irreversible. What does it irreversible mean? Two things. First, we are in a union and we are progressing towards more union, not less union. The banking union discussion that you may be familiar with, the fiscal union uh, idea, having a single treasury, single finance minister, they are progressing. The uh, monetary policy side is extremely important because the political decisions take time and in the meanwhile markets uh, really cannot wait and so the um, monetary policy is providing the bridge for monetary policy reasons because the risk of redenomination has been transferred in differentials in credit rates which is clearly contrary to the very idea of a single monetary policy. Italy has an election by the end of April. Are you concerned at all that uh, it will become a political issue to cut the austerity measures as a populist move? Anything can, can take place. Pol political, the political debate is not yet started really, so we will see what, what's going on. I think it is not in the interest of, of anybody to go against the anti-austerity uh, uh, measures. It could be a populist measure though. A populist, it? but it's not in the interest of the country, and so it's maybe in the interest of some, but I don't think that it is going to win. You have not seen these uh, extreme uh, acts that you have seen elsewhere. But the adjustment has been, perhaps uh, in certain grounds, uh, more important than elsewhere. And the reason is that, after all, Italy is a country which has uh, um, an overall conditions in the private sector still, uh, still help helping. Uh, private, private debt in Italy is uh, much less than in most other European countries. Household debt is the lowest, and, this, and the, the households therefore have uh, clearly absorbed a lot of the shock. The question is for how long, and this is, this is extremely important. My impression is that m most of the adjustment has taken place. Borrowing costs, the 10-year yield, has come down for Italy quite a long way, from a height of around 7% to currently around about 5%. But even so, it's high. Can Italy afford interest rates of around 5%? Uh, even uh, more than five is uh, sustainable for the country. The problem is not whether it is sustainable, but whether it is costly. So it is extremely costly. And, and the cost at the end you see in a uh, lower rate of growth, and therefore there might be a spiral on that. But 5% is among the lowest rates Italy has had for many years. On the other hand, unfortunately, the growth rate is very, very low. So it is always a relative thing, relative to what? Relative to the growth rate is still high, but it is sustainable.